Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have another update for OnePlus 3 in the form of Hydrogen OS and now we have the stable version of Hydrogen OS which is based on Android 8.0 as you can see the software information here Hydrogen version is Hydrogen OS 5.0 Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 1st April 2018. So guys, now you don't have to wait for Oxygen OS also. Another 2 or 3 days will have Oxygen OS 8.0 in the form of stable version. And we have lots of changes in this build which I'll tell you now. So first of all, this is a look and this is Hydrogen OS. So if you guys want to install Hydrogen OS, it's a pretty simple way. You just need to download the file. You can do a local upgrade if you are not rooted. If you are rooted, then you can flash it using TWRP recovery. So talking about the launcher, now launcher has been updated to 2.3.1. There are not much of changes, swipe down feature, shelf, notification dot, icon pack, and you can customize the layout of the launcher then talking about the camera they have not upgraded the camera here now camera is still on outdated version that is version 1.5.0 and in this video i'll be showing you what changes they have done along with the benchmark results and you can also see a dynamic clock available in this build now so talking about the change logs all the change logs are updated on their official website and you can download the file from there first talking about the system they have done few additions in that First they say is added face unlock feature to unlock the device. So this feature was available on beta files for OnePlus 3 and 3T and now it is available on stable version also. So this will be available on Oxygen OS whenever we have the stable build. So going to security and lock screen and here you can see a face unlock option available. So I've already added my face here. Going here I'll first remove the face data and again add it. And once you have added the face data, you have two options here, auto unlock after screen is on and the second one is face unlock assistive lightning. So this will increase the brightness of the screen when there is a low light available. And let me show you how fast is face unlock on OnePlus 3. And as you can see, I'm behind camera still the device is able to recognize me very nicely and it is pretty fast. The second change log what they say is added picture in picture mode. So all these features were available in previous beta files and now they have added on stable versions also. So you can go to settings search for picture in picture and you should find these many options. This will show you how many applications does picture in picture mode supports. So as of now YouTube is not being supported by picture in picture mode you need to have red subscription but in recent news it was confirmed that it is being rolling out for other users also. Some people also reported that they were able to use picture in picture without red subscription but not for all videos. After that they say added new autofill services, no need to remember lengthy password. So this feature is been added in this, this is an Oreo feature. So if you are not aware about autofill you can go to settings and search for autofill services. And here you have autofill services in which I normally use Google where I have all my passwords and everything saved. So whenever I need to log in anything, let me show you my login in Twitter. As you can see, I just have to tap here and it will show me my mail ID. Once I tap on mail ID, I get the password automatically available in the password section. And as you can see, I have some text available here. I tap this, select this area and it will give me an option of mail ID as I have selected the email ID which is available here. Then moving on to the next text which is an address, the device will automatically identify it and open up map application. Then we have some number available here and once you select that it will give you an option of phone application. After that they say new quick setting design so I am not aware about exactly what new they have done here as I've been always using beta version. So, so these were the changes available under system. Now moving on to gallery which says support photo cloud sync. So this is a new feature they have added here. So let me show you now. If you open up gallery and you slide down, you get an option of cloud sync. So this is something like Google Photos and I'm exactly not sure this is only for hydrogen OS because hydrogen OS in settings we get option of cloud. This option normally we don't get it on Oxygen OS. So here you can see cloud sync option is available. Let's see whether this feature comes to Oxygen OS or not. 
next one under gallery is added photo map to view photos by location so before that what you need to do is to have the location you need to go to camera go to settings and enable save location once you are done with that click any photo go to gallery go to places and this will show you which all photos you have taken on the exact location so the next one what they say is image supported by shot on oneplus share so now you can share any image if you want you just need to tap on the image go to share and you will have an option of shot on oneplus now you can share beautiful photos on shot on oneplus and the last change log under gallery is added thrash feature so if you delete any kind of photos this will go to a thrash folder from where you can recover the folders within 29 days so as you can see i have deleted two photos and if i want to recover them i'll select the photos and click on recover the photo will be again available inside my gallery then we have few changes under communication which says added caller number recognition so, so this will give you information about the calls which you are getting after that they say support for adding emergency information in your profile information so now you can add emergency information inside the profile or your card which you have created you will see in another tab called emergency in, in which you can add emergency contact number like family members or someone else and the last change log under communication is contact support alphabetical navigation so now you can see towards your right hand side you have the alphabetic navigation by which you can just drag and move to the contact which you want so these were the changes available on this build hydrogen os which is based on android 8.0 stable version now moving on to the benchmark results so going with geekbench application under this single core scores 1639 wherein multi core scores 3262 moving on with antutu bench application and under this results are 156359 talking about battery life battery life i have been still testing it by evening i'll put up the results of first battery cycle and will update you guys about the battery backup which i got it here so guys these were the change logs available on this build and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day